Get off. Oh, you kind, mister. If it yeah, be so kind to take me to LaGrasse, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Sure, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust them much. Quite all right, ma'am. I don't trust them much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Horse don't help much in LaGrano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bugged, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time could come by with a rifle on him. I just no word of lie. Jeez, you sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? LeGras? Well, that's how life is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. We getting close. Don't die or not. on account of you being so kind. Hope I never have to be on that horse to get dang animals. Yeah. Here. Everyone's a liar at this table. That's no oh, lie. What do you have? Oh, I remember you. I hope you took my advice and forgot all about that please. matter that you were inquiring on when you were last in here. For sure. I know when to leave something well alone. Good meal, I hope. Can I get a room for tonight, please? Okay, room is all set. Just head upstairs when you're ready. I'm Bonjour, chérie. Morning. This is turning into one of them days. Oh? Anyway, all the best to you. Au revoir.
But that man takes the prize for worst. How about that? takes the prize for worst. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Let's go. Would you like me Why to join you? Any nice guys in here? Damn right. It's fine. Some men are intimidated. This will do for me nicely. Yeah. I'll raise. Oh, you don't talk much, do you? Excuse me, madam, behind you. Hey there. Excuse me, partner. All right. Wanna have a good time? Take your All time, take your time. Over. See his gun so loud it cracks a shot like lightning. Really? There you go. What'll it be today? Ah, suits you.
Stay there, boy. Real good, boy. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening, it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Good evening, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. 
Si that wretch is the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to run. Good evening, sir. Can I interest you in a glass of champagne? Get me a bloody drink, will you? Good evening, sir. How do you do? <coughs> Gilbert Knightley. How do you do? You French, sir. Glass of champagne, sir? Hello. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Uh, would you like tickets? What? This intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, 
I suggested that all of us, as Americans, had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Don't say you and me oh. cool off. <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. All right, okay, goddammit. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you rejoin the party. Oh, how do you do? Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! I will not have. I'm sorry, sir, but the party is in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you understand. Forgive me. I was unaware. Standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <clears throat> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight.
Leviticus Gorm. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of...